Alrighty then, we have another video on how to simplify two matrix expressions using identities. Um, first off, um, I have three different examples. Example one, example two, and example three. And in each one of these examples, you find that we are practicing to try to simplify the left side so it equals the right. So how can we do this? Well, first off, if you've watched my previous videos, you use algebra if you can. And if you can't use algebra, um, sometimes it's just good to take whatever you're given and create it to sine and cosine. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. So tangent, tangent of an angle is really the ratio of sine of an angle over cosine of an angle. And cotangent is really cosine of an angle over sine of an angle. Or the reciprocal of, or you could think about it this as the reciprocal of tangent. In any case, what you notice is that the sines cancel out, the cosines cancel out, and it equals 1. And that's how you can do it. So there's a bunch of different ways. Essentially, you're trying to do sine and cosine while rewriting the expression, all right, so that you can use your fundamental identities to cancel it out, okay? Or get what equals this side. And that's how we go. Um, same thing over here. We have cotangent of alpha, which is an angle, just so you're not scared. This is a little baby angle called alpha. And what we have cotangent, cotangent is cosine of alpha over sine of alpha times sine of little alpha. Well, the sines, as you can see, cancel out, and we're left with cosine of alpha. These are some basic fundamental, um, using fundamental identities, um, that we know about this, all right? Not the fundamental trig identities, but some fundamental ratio identities that we have here with our quotients. Well, finally, let's go to a little bit harder one. We want to see where we can get two sine of theta minus one. Well, notice that we have sine and we have a sine squared and a cosine squared. Well, is there any way we have a sine squared? That's what we want. We may want to see if we can change and get rid of cosine. Well, this comes from one of our fundamental trig identities. All right, it's cosine of theta plus um, cosine of theta equals one. And we do know that yes, cosine of theta actually equals one minus sine of theta. And so doing so, we can actually take and use a little substitution and plug in one minus sine squared of theta in for there. Boop. All right, taking that little negative, let's distribute it through. So we have sine squared of theta. All right, we have minus one plus sine squared of theta. Sine plus sine equals two sine squared of theta minus one. And that's where we do our algebra to simplify. And look what we get. Looky, looky. We have exactly what we're looking for. All right. For our final answer. All right. Well, I hope this helps you out on solving some basic fundamental. All right. True matrix expressions. Um, and using the fundamental identities. Using ratio and quotient identities to help us simplify. All right. Well, yeah. Good luck and God bless the rest of your problems.